Remember we were playing with that that foldable PC from Lenovo? Oh yeah. That seemed like a long time ago now. The concept at the time. It was just a concept, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. The X1 foldable. They're making it. Not only are they making it, you can order it right now, Well. Oh yeah. It'll cost you a few dollars. How much? Close to 2500. Oh. What well, do you think? For a laptop. But is it a laptop? Yeah. Is it a tablet? It's hard to say. It is a, a much larger foldable than what we've seen. It's uh, it's it's a grown, it's a scaled up version of the foldables we've seen, but it has so many funky characteristics, like the ability to split the display with a digital keyboard on the bottom side, or the ability to plop a mechanical keyboard on top of one half of the screen. Yes. Or the ability to set the whole thing on a kind of easel and stick a keyboard in front of it. Yes. Or the ability to carry it under your arm like a nice little, uh, it looks sort of like a notebook. Mm. Uh, 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 like a moleskin almost. It's leather bound. Yeah. It looks leather bound. Very I don't know if it's probably looking. not actual leather. It's an OLED display, 2500 bucks, starting at 2500 I could probably spec it a few more than that. It's got an Intel Core i5 chip, some sort of custom chip. The ThinkPad X1 Fold, I've been a ThinkPad fan in the past. It's funny, though, because one of the major reasons that I'm a fan of ThinkPad products is the amazing keyboard. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you've always been a fan of those. Here you have a completely keyboardless device with a keyboard attachment can they bring the same dna through on the detachable keyboard look it has a kickstand this is such a strange device i love it maybe very they, cool yeah maybe they send it over to me and i place it right here i don't know hmm. and i goof around well we're getting it oh they're gonna send it over oh they're sending it over aren't they so yeah that's exciting so we're gonna goof around a little more than uh, obviously the original video was just a prototype mm -hmm. so I remember, I remember there were certain things that like, oh, that's going to change with the final version and so on. Uh, what, what else can I tell you about it? Well, it's a 13-inch notebook. Of course, that's the whole display. If you're using the whole display, 8 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of storage, 11th gen Intel processors, 50 watt hour battery, and it weighs just 2.2 pounds with 5G support. They say their hinge is robust. It'll be bending and folding for years to come. It's a 2K display, 16 by 10, and uh, it's about the same height as a 14-inch 16 by 9 laptop. Uh, no, wait, that's a different model. The Nano, that's a different model. 13.3. Uh, ign ignore what I ignore the last part that I just said, but it it is two point. It will be 2.2 pounds. Oh. So anyway, many different ways to use it. We we're only scratching the surface. This is. Some of this technology, it does look like a like a real ThinkPad keyboard, by the way. It does, yeah. And something interesting, you can fold the whole unit up with the keyboard on the inside, mm -hmm. which is quite That's nice. That's useful. You don't have to put it away somewhere. Yeah, it's a nice spot to hold your keyboard. They also say it's durable. They just dropped something on it in this video. Anyway, we are in a situation right now where the technology might be a little bit ahead of our uh, ability to imagine it in our lives. It's like, hey, we can fold screens, and everybody scrambled. Where, where are we folding? What are we? Yeah, and we Who talked cares about, about this? the use case. Let's just do it. Yes, and and we've talked about this in the past. How that can be frustrating because people say, I don't need that, but for me, I, I think it's inspiring because it's sometimes, especially in the early stages, you know you're on to something when you can't. Your the the more futuristic products require some imagination imagination from a construction and engineering standpoint and imagination from a user standpoint mm -hmm. and m imagination from a software developer standpoint everybody has to look at the technology scratch the sides of their heads in the temple region and say huh what could we do with that yeah. what could we do with that microsoft is doing it samsung's doing it lenovo's doing it with the thinkpad mm -hmm. so i'm not mad Mm -hmm. Let's experiment, have a little fun, human beings making things. Mm -hmm.